Kia is pushing forward with electric vehicles here at the Los Angeles Auto Show. This is the EV9 concept. It's big, it looks really cool, and it previews a future that's not too far away. So let's take our first look. Before we get further along with the EV9, let me remind you to please subscribe to the Moto1 YouTube channel and help us grow. You can also find us on social media using the handle at Moto1.com. So things we know about the powertrain. This has 800 volt architecture and it's gonna have the next generation of ultra fast charging. So we're talking 350 kilowatt charging. This will do 10 to 80% in less than 20 minutes. No specs yet on horsepower or actually what battery pack this is going to feature. The shot with this with the doors open, there doesn't look like enough space in the floor to actually put a big battery pack in the car. So I know there will be stylistic changes to accommodate that. But know that this will have Kia's already impressive battery technology as they continue forward with their production EVs. So Kia is calling this its clearest signal yet that EV9 is going to be the next model in its EV lineup. So translation on that, this is coming next. The EV6, which is right behind me over there, is a production car that's already on sale elsewhere and it's hitting the streets in the US sometime soon. EV9, I have to say at first glance, looks pretty dramatically different. Now this is still very much a concept, I wanna keep saying that, and it's concept-y in the way it looks. Not much of this will make production, but as with most Kia and Hyundai concept cars, we can take away some of the design elements and see what eventually will make production. Speaking of Hyundai, they also unveiled a concept car today called the Concept 7. That's on the same platform that this guy is and about the same size as well. So if you want to see the Hyundai and compare it to the Kia, we filmed that car. You can click on the pop-out banner and check it out. EV9, at first glance, I'm seeing like a retro futuristic FJ Cruiser almost. I'm not sure. That seems a little strange to say, but it's, it's big and it's boxy and there's all these muscular elements to it that make it a bit more uh, off-roady and I guess gritty than the Hyundai that we just saw, which is a little bit more sleek in its styling. I love the design elements on the side of the car. The front is a little busy right now, but we'll get there in a second. These wheels are enormous, first of all. They gotta be 23 or 24 inch wheels in concept form, but they're these really strong triangular elements. I love it. Kia just takes sharp angles and works them into all of their designs. It's really neat looking, um, and it's one of the standout features on the entire concept. The length of this, we looked it up from the press release, the dimensions, it's about the same overall length as a Toyota Highlander, just to give you some perspective. And different from the Hyundai that had a weird sort of futuristic interior, this has three distinct rows. So from that, at least right now, I'm going to assume the production EV9 will be a three-row SUV. That would make sense if they're showing it here. Eventually translate that to production. Around the back of the car, we have what I think are the most dramatic taillights that I've seen on a Kia in recent memory. Um, now that we've seen new Sportage, which has finally been unveiled, I'm seeing a little bit of that in its design, but it trickles down all the way along here. And of course, right now in auto show form, it's doing all these neat lighting patterns, especially the front of the car. Uh, right here, we have the new Kia corporate logo. That's of course going to be featured on every Kia vehicle going forward. It's kind of in this neat like etched metal up against this matte paint. Looks really neat. And it's just sort of a subtle piece of metal trim along the bottom. Um, I said this does look concepty, but that said, there are parts of this that I can definitely see making a production car, especially one that's very futuristic, forward thinking, like an EV. Let's go check out the front of the car and then the interior. The front of the EV9 concept is where the party's at, at least design-wise. Look at all the lights going on here. Of course, this probably won't be production ready, but for now, I love that they just went crazy with this. There's a huge DRL lighting signature here, which is indicative of some of the Kias currently on the road. Again, I'm gonna bring up Sportage, but I love these little LEDs that are completely in the bodywork. When they're not lit up, you could go by and not see them on at all. But then once the lights hit them, they do this little dance and they work with this string of LEDs over here. Overall, the lighting is a lot, to be honest with you, but I hope that some of this will eventually make the production EV9 because it just makes these cars stand apart from others. Functionally, up in here, there's not too many vents. Of course, that makes sense because there's no engine, it's all battery powered. But I read in the press release that there's solar panel technology. I think it's actually baked in right here. That's an awesome thing that I hope more electric vehicles eventually carry out uh, because I could power some of the smaller things within the car like air conditioning, things like that. 
finally, let's see the interior. So get in here and check out what this interior looks like because it's completely futuristic. But like I said, three full rows of seating, which gives you a, a sense of the space that's inside of this thing. There's a huge panoramic glass roof which lights up the entire interior space. Uh, and they mentioned that some of the materials are recyclable, so they use old fish nets, things like that. Up front, there's this big floating dashboard design. That's one of the cooler elements on the interior. And the screen that's looking right back at you is a 27-inch display in total. It functions as a digital cluster right here in front of the driver, but the same piece of glass works as the center display too. So current Kia products, they have two separate displays. I like that they brought this all together in one housing. It looks a lot cleaner and a lot more futuristic too. The Kia EV9 concept is an exciting next step for the brand's electric endeavors. And honestly, it makes us even more excited to interact with the EV6 in the next few weeks and see where things go from there. To get all the information on the EV9 concept, head over to Moto1.com or check out the link in the description. And thanks for watching.